DNA tests of 3,000-year-old Paraka skulls are of unknown human race. Elongated skulls are very interesting global phenomenon. They're found all over the globe, not just uh, Paraka, Peru. Across the planet, researchers keep discovering traces of these mysterious artifacts, the nature of which supposedly defies any explanation. Many researchers enthusiastically call elongated skulls evidence of the existence of forbidden archaeology, and some of them even believe that they are proof that the real story of mankind is being hidden from most people. Among the most interesting examples of elongated skulls are the so-called skulls of the Paracas culture. They were discovered in the province of Pisco, Peru, almost a hundred years ago. Once upon a time, an Inca empire flourished in those places. It's believed that the skulls are about 3,000 years old, and the DNA tests allegedly showed that the elongated skulls of Paracas culture belonged to a completely unknown species of human. In 1928, an archaeologist from Peru named Julio Tello found a burial ground that contained the series of tombs. During excavation, many cone-shaped skulls were unearthed in the region that raised queries about this mysterious group of people. Initially, Brian Forster, who carried out the DNA research, believed that these skulls would not fit into the known evolutionary tree. According to some DNA analysis, the deformation of the skull was not created artificially, but due to the genetics. The elongated skulls of the Paracas culture have other strange features. Researchers concluded that the average volume of the skull is 25% larger than that of the average modern person. Besides, they are 60% heavier than ordinary human skull, but that's not all. Now, in the previous video, uh, two videos before this, about the Anunnaki Sumerian queen, DNA that Sitchin wanted to make, it was never performed, but they did perform uh, DNA testing on uh, King Tut, King Tutankhamun, the Yafar of Egypt, and they found that his bone was more intense and heavier than human homo sapien bone, and that his chromosomes were more, much more intense with much more information than the human chromosomes. So uh, King Tut was not an ordinary homo sapien. He was something else human-like. Now, according to some DNA analysis, the deformation of the skull was not created artificially, but due to genetics. The elongated skulls of Paracas culture have other strange features. Richardson conclude the average volume of the skull, 25% larger than average modern person, and 60% heavier than ordinary human skulls, but that's not all. In 2018, a team of researchers led by Brian Forster and L.A. Marzulli presented their DNA findings at the Elongated Skull Symposium in Los Angeles, and this is what Forster explained. The DNA results actually are incredibly complicated. It's going to take me some time to actually figure out what the results mean. What it does show for sure is that the Paracas Elongated Skull people were not 100% Native American. They were a mix or even you could say in some ways a hybrid of different people. Their blood types are very complicated as well. They should be blood type O if they're 100% Native American, and that's not the case. We are likely looking at a subspecies of humanity as regards to the Paracas. Seems to be a lot of DNA evidence from extreme Eastern Europe and extreme Western Asia. More specifically, I'm talking about the area in between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea where ancient elongated skull people lived, and I think about 3,000 years ago. Now, we did find in Romania, in uh, northern Greece, in uh, Russia, elongated skulls of people with elongated skulls. So he's right. And he says uh, uh, their, their blood type shows that they're from there. Now, so he says, I think we're looking at a migration pattern starting in the Caspian Black Sea area and then entering through the Persian Gulf and then moving eastward, eventually winding up in the coast of Peru. The earliest written references to artificial craniacal deformation dated back to 750-650 BC. In his book, The, Catalog the Catalogues of Women, the Greek poet Hesiod referred to a tribe from either Africa or India called the macrocephaly, meaning macrocephaly, meaning uh, long elongated skulls, which roughly translated to the big heads, 
long heads, I would say. The deformation of children's skulls was already practiced by Huns, Goths, and Alans in the 4th and 5th centuries. In April 2021, a video was posted on YouTube where a presenter showed elongated skulls he found in Juan Velica, a city in Peru. The presenter spoke Spanish through the video entitled I Found Strange and Deformed Skulls in the Mountains of Juan Velica. The video went viral after some Facebook user posted and pointed out the shape of the skulls and the eye sockets as proof of alien origin. Some experts came forward and said the skulls and eye sockets were completely normal. The eye sockets are normal and perfectly within the range of human variation and look like eye sockets of other human skulls from Peru, said Melissa S. Murphy, an anthropologist professor at the University of Wyoming who specializes in the analysis of human remains from Peru. The samples were sent to the genetic laboratory, but to avoid influencing the result, the origin of the skulls was not informed. Interestingly, the mitochondrial DNA inherited from the mother presented mutations unknown to any man, primate, or any other animal, and the mutation suggested another human species, different from Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, or Denisovians. It was reported that the people with Paracas skulls were biologically different, and it would have been impossible for humans to interbreed with them. So, who were those people? Did they evolve here on Earth on a past so different from us that they ended up looking dr drastically different? And what if the skulls of the Paracas culture are just the remains of aliens? The origin of the Paracas skulls is still a mystery for researchers, but for now, the available evidence seems to suggest that Paracas were indeed human. Let's remember we've had many, many, uh, three million years ago, these skulls, we've had many ex near extinction level events uh, from that time up to today. This is on News 10, Jewel 24. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.